As I look around the room, I see an enormous diversity of backgrounds and places and interests. But everyone in this great hall that we're gathered in today comes for a single reason, which is that you care about your communities and what happens to them. Because you work in the trenches and see the impact of this economic crisis every day. Now that perspective may not have always been one that sat in the White House. And certainly, it is a perspective we don't see represented in every seat in Congress today. But with President Obama sitting at that desk in the Oval Office, believe me, we have that perspective in this White House, in this administration. You have, for the first time in history, a community organizer, someone who sat where you sit, sitting at that desk in the Oval Office. Someone who knows what it, what it is to go door to door to build a campaign or a movement, who knows that the most meaningful, long-lasting change doesn't start at the top, but from the bottom up. Someone who knows that at a time of record corporate profits, middle-class families shouldn't have to work harder and longer simply to keep up and that the federal government has a role to play in strengthening all of our communities. When President Obama took office, the median family income had dropped by 3,800 in a decade. Think about it. Families were earning $4,000 less than they were 10 years before, even as the cost of housing, and healthcare, and energy, and transportation, you name it, continued to skyrocket. Over the last three decades, household income has grown four times faster for the top 10% of families as it, is, as it has for middle income families. And the share of income going to the top 10% has increased by a third. And that was all before the economic crisis even began. And so our first task was to stop the bleeding, to extend a lifeline to our most vulnerable families while keeping middle-class families from losing any more ground, to create jobs and put money back into the pockets of working families. President Obama enacted a series of new and expanded tax credits from a payroll tax cut to the making work pay tax credit to an expansion of the earned income tax credit Collectively, these have put $3,600 in the pockets of families earning $30,000 each year. To help people who lost their jobs, we expanded unemployment benefits for the long-term unemployed, both through the Recovery Act and again in last December's tax deal. To help vulnerable families put food on the table, we made new investments in child nutrition programs. These changes alone help kept 1.7 million children above the poverty line last year. That one effort alone. Now I know you've heard that talking point for so many members of Congress about the failed stimulus. I know you've heard that talking point. Tell that to the one million people that the Recovery Act saved from homelessness since the beginning of this administration. A million people. The result of these investments is clear. Despite the economic headwinds that we're still facing, we've been able to protect low-income families and offer middle-class families the relief that they desperately needed.